now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Still have a few clouds out there as we look here currently at what's going on in downtown Baltimore. Temperatures reading around 45 degrees. Uh, we have a little bit of some humidity around. Feels like it's 43, so if you're walking the dog one last time, getting out there, just using the bathroom. You may need a light sweater just because we are starting to cool down. We're expected to get towards our close to the freezing mark for our lows tonight. You can really see that a lot of us, especially over towards the Mason Dixon line, will be below freezing closer to the bay, a little further south. We'll be right around that freezing mark, if not a little bit above, including parts of the eastern shore where we'll be right around 31 in Chestertown and even 32 in Easton. So that'll start us off for a little bit of a cooler start. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s for the bus stops, so make sure the kids have a sweater. And it's going to be a layers kind of day because by the time we go towards the afternoon, you'll notice that we'll have temperatures getting back up into the 50s. But thanks to that heavy cloud cover, we really don't budge more than that. And the winds start to pick up a little bit as well, mostly from the east. So they're not going to be a very cold wind, but it'll make us feel a bit colder than what the thermometer reads. A lot of us will still have around those 50s and even upper 40s. So while we do get closer towards our average, it's still a bit cooler than normal. And then when we go towards our Wednesday, cold front approaches. But ahead of that is going to be a strong southerly wind, which puts our temperatures quite up there pretty quickly. We'll get into the upper 50s, but we're going to be seeing some rain along with it. And as we then approach a little bit towards the afternoon hours, we can actually maybe even hear a rumble of thunder with some of that activity starts to push in towards our western counties and where we could see some of that rain by about six o'clock and a little bit more towards the I-95 I corridor here around eight o'clock for our morning commute. A little bit of a break during the midday and then another round of it starts to push on in as that one cold front approaches a little closer and we'll see that it then finally starts to clear on out around four or five o'clock and finally see all of the shower activity die down as we head towards the overnight hours. Winds will be gusty, so what to expect? Strong southerly winds with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. We could also expect to see about a quarter to half an inch of rain, so nothing's going to lead to a lot of flooding. It's actually going to be beneficial rain, and then temperatures will drop quickly, as we'll see here in the seven-day forecast. So overall, after that cold front does move through, we'll drop down going from around 60 almost down to 33 degrees for our low heading into Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So it will become chilly, plenty of dry skies and sunshine to kick off our Thursday, but we'll be a bit on the cooler side. 45 will be our high. We then get back up to the 50 degrees by Friday and then even for the Saturday and Sunday time frame, we'll have temperatures hanging around those mid to upper 50s. All right, let's